Hey guys, welcome to Jiwon Motsuku. In today's video, we are discussing monsoon winds. Now, monsoon winds are defined as seasonal winds which change direction, causing wet and dry seasons. They occur in certain regions in the world, but they are most common in India. They are most common where? In India. Before we dive into this topic, you need to know a few things. Uh, we need to remember that wind will always go from a high pressure to a low pressure. Wind will always go from a high pressure to a low pressure. And you need to know that land heats up and cools faster than the ocean. Land heats up and cools faster than the ocean. Number one, you need to know that um, winds will always go from a high pressure to a low pressure. Number two, you need to know that land heats up and cools faster than the ocean. We have two types of monsoons, summer monsoons and winter monsoons. We have summer monsoons and winter monsoons. Now, remember, our land heats up faster than the ocean. It heats up and cools faster than the ocean. Now in summer, let me draw. Remember these winds are most common in India. So I'm going to try, try and draw India on both sides. Is India, is India on the other side as well. Remember I said in summer my land will heat up faster. It will heat up faster. So if it heats up faster, it means that we will have warm moist air which will be rising on the land and we know that where there is rising air we have a low pressure so a low pressure will develop over the interior now our ocean will not, will not be as warm as the land because our land heats up faster so over the ocean we are going to have a high pressure developing we are going to have a high pressure now let's go to win in winter remember our land heats up and cools faster in the ocean so in winter our land will be cold compared to the sea it will cool faster hence we have more subsiding air on the interior and we know that air which sinks or subsides is associated with the high pressure over the interior and then we have a low pressure developing over the ocean right this is very important our land heats up faster hence we have a low pressure over the land and a high pressure over the ocean because the ocean will take longer to heat up now in winter our land will cool faster than the ocean hence we have a high pressure over the land and a low pressure over the ocean we know that the winds will always blow from a high pressure to a low pressure from a high pressure to a low pressure high pressure to a low pressure and if you look at these winds they are coming from a southwest direction let me draw my cardinal points he is north he is south he is west he is east these winds are coming from a southwest direction so summer monsoons are also known as southwest monsoons because they are coming from a southwest direction now let's look at our winter monsoons. Wind will always blow from a high pressure to a low pressure. High pressure to a low pressure. High pressure to a low pressure. Now let's look at the direction of these winds. Here are my cardinal points. Is north, is south, is west, is east. So we are coming from this direction, which is northeast. So winter monsoons are also known as north. East monsoons because we name winds based on the direction which they come from. Winter monsoons come from a northeasterly direction, so they're also known as northeast monsoons. But summer monsoons come from a southwest direction, so they are also known as southwest monsoons. Okay, now another thing to know is that winds which go come from the ocean towards the land are known as onshore winds onshore winds winds which blow from the ocean 
towards the land. This is the ocean and this is the land. Winds which blow from the ocean towards the land are known as onshore winds. But winds which blow from land towards the ocean are known as offshore winds. Right? My winds will go from a high pressure to a high pressure to a low pressure. High pressure to a low pressure. But winds which come from the ocean towards the land are known as onshore winds. Winds which blow from land towards the ocean are known as offshore winds. They're known as offshore winds. Now we know that our ocean has more moisture compared to land. Ocean has more moisture. So our onshore winds which come from the ocean towards the land will carry more moisture. They will carry more moisture. So when they get to the interior, they will arrive there as warm moist air. And we know that warm moist air rises. Warm moist air does what? It rises. But as it rises, it is going to cool and condense to form clouds. And we know that clouds bring about rainfall. They bring about rainfall. So our summer monsoon is associated with more rainfall. Hence, it is also known as a wet monsoon. Is it wet monsoon? So it's known as a southwest monsoon, a summer monsoon, or a wet monsoon because our ocean carries more moisture. So, since we have onshore winds from the ocean to land, it means that these onshore winds carry moisture, and when they reach the interior, they are going to rise, cool, and condense to form clouds, and clouds bring about more rainfall. Hence, our summer monsoon is also known as a wet monsoon or a southwest monsoon because these onshore winds come from the southwest. Now, our winter monsoon has offshore winds. We know that the ocean has more moisture, but the land is dry. The land is dry. So, offshore winds are dry. Hence, there is less cloud formation because cold dry air sinks. Cold dry air does what? It sinks. So our winter monsoons are also known as dry monsoons. Also known as dry monsoons because offshore winds carry little moisture because they are coming from the land. The land is dry and cold. Cold dry air sinks. But with our summer monsoons, we have onshore winds coming from the ocean. The ocean has more moisture. So when it goes to the interior, this warm, moist air is going to rise, cool and condense to form clouds and therefore more rainfall. This is why the summer monsoon is also known as the wet monsoon. It's associated with more rainfall. But our winter monsoon is also known as the dry monsoon because our land has less moisture. It has less moisture. It is cold and dry. So the offshore winds are cold and dry. And we know that cold, dry air sinks. Therefore, in winter, we have a dry monsoon or a dry season, less rainfall. But then in summer, it is our wet monsoon. Okay, in most question papers, you are going to see the ITCZ, the Intertropical Convergence Zone. The intertropical convergence zone. Convergence is when winds come together. Right? Now, in summer, the ITCZ is on the land, it's on the interior. Hence, our winds are going towards the interior because the ITCZ is a convergence zone. It is a convergence zone. So, our winds are going towards the convergence zone. But then, in, in winter, it is on the ocean. Hence, our winds are going towards the ocean. They are offshore winds going to the ITCZ, the intertropical convergence zone. Winds will go towards the convergence zone. That's where winds converge. So, in summer, you will see the ITCZ will be over the land. But then in winter, the ITCZ will be on the ocean.